How's it going everyone? We're here to check out the skins that made it in this week and we are here pretty early in the morning because Helk accepted the skins before the update to get them done and we do have a special brand new type of skin for you. That's right, the first tool cupboard skin to show you and we'll get to that shortly. So first off we've got Mr. Crabbo Booney. This will run you 140 died and you can just set this crazy looking silly little crab guy on your head it's definitely a very funny one but uh, a lot of people like this kind of goofy stuff for the memes also if you look up under it is colored on the underside now beforehand it was kind of invisible at first so definitely a nice little quick fix there underneath before it got accepted next up we've got a high qual set for you and it's the chameleon set this is going to run you $1.99 a piece, so that is double the usual price of $0.99. Cents. But it is a very popular set, and that's not too bad considering it could be, you know, $2.99 or more. Sometimes there are some really expensive sets like this, and that could have been done with this one, but it wasn't. So that's not too bad. Definitely has a nice design, lots of different kind of textures and everything going on with the side of the face mask. And then you have kind of that, you know, very kind of plated chest looking thing going on with the rest. Next up, we've got our deployables. And the first one here is going to be a sleeping bag, the snake bite sleeping bag to be specific. This one's going to run you $2.49, a dollar more than usual. And that's because it probably has some, well, not, it's probably because it has some crazy glow on the eyes at night. But it has this really cool design, lots of nice little leaves and this uh, really cool looking cobra on the front of it. It's definitely a mean design. You've got a nice little kind of scaly looking pillow to go along with it. And then over here, we've got a box that makes the second piece in the blocky set. So now we have the blocky cargo box. This one too is gonna run you 249, most likely because of the glow and it is part of kind of a unique little set. As you look over here, you can see there's a nice little submarine. Then you've got yourself a rib, it looks like. Uh, it might just, no, I think it might just be a normal rowboat. And then on top, of course, you've got cargo with the scientists all loaded up. Last but not least, we have a second piece in the Shadowborn set with the sheet metal door. This one is going to carry another high price tag, just like the other piece did at $2.99. But this is some crazy awesome art. Definitely very, very cool looking. And I could see why people would want to grab this one. So, A, it is a nice door. If we kill the lice, you can definitely see why it is so much cooler. Plus, if you take a look, hey, isn't that the minigun that's literally coming out in today's update? And it, it's just, it's nice. Every little detail does add a bit to it. Then, of course, we've got the glow on the box here. And last, we have those Cobra eyes. All right, so the Retro TC skin is here. So, boom, it is a, a TC skin. I mean, the first of its kind. Uh, everyone has, well, for <laughs> I wouldn't say everyone, but I'd say a lot of people have been asking for skinnable tool cupboards. And uh, that's just been a thing that has been asked for for a while. And uh, Rust has always said that they want the tool cupboard to be something that is easy, easily distinguishable from anything else. So, because of that, it looks like TC skins will be kept to first party only, meaning only made by the Rust team like this one. It does not seem that there's the ability for the workshop to make skins for this. And I probably don't see that happening anytime in the future. But as you can see, this thing is highly animated. It has a ton of things going on for it. First things first, it's going to tell you what your actual upkeep is right here in the window. Then over here, it's going to tell you how many days, hours, and minutes. And then up here, you have a count of everything that is attached to it. As you can see, it says zero doors and how many foundations, and it will say how many walls, which is just uh, a really crazy kind of thing to have. And uh, yeah, if you actually look down here, you'll see that it actually shows the resources that you have inside of the tool cupboard. Right now I have wood and stone, and you can see there is wood and stone in there. And if you actually add in metal or something else, it will start to show down here, which is really neat. Then also you've got the little fax machine and uh, the whole back of it's kind of just busted open. You can see all this stuff kind of going on back here. And uh, yeah, it's just a very, very cool looking skin. 
And of course, I mean, it does actually glow. So if we kill the lights, you can take a look at it here and you can see the screens light up very nicely from pretty far away. And then you have kind of the little underglow here with that broken light filament sticking out. Definitely a very, very cool concept. So how do you guys all feel about the first tool covered skin? All right, moving on, we've got our weapons for you this week. No tools. Starting off, we've got a new DB for you, and it is the Thunder Gold Double Barrel Shotgun. This has been a very popular set, so I can see this one selling quite well. That gold and white is just a really nice combo. And this will run you $2.49, so 50 cents more than usual. So it's a little bit more pricey, but not too much up there, not over an extra dollar or anything like that. And if we go ahead and do a reload... There you have it. Thunder Gold the Barrel Shotgun. And then moving on, we've got a new SAR for you this week with the Prototype 7164 SAR. And uh, yeah, looks like this is the second piece in the Prototype set. So hey, one more and it is, well, officially an accepted set. And then aiming down the sides here, you do have a nice little yellow tip against the kind of chrome silvery back sides there. We go ahead and perform a reload. You can see there's various wires and circuitry hanging out alongside all of it. And then you also have your friendly little robot guy on the back there with some welding. Moving on, we have one more for you, and it is the Apocalypse Nomad AR. This one is going to run you $199. And it's just really beat up and fits rust. A lot of people are asking for rusty looking stuff. Well, here it is. And uh, this one is also the second piece in this set to be accepted. So one more, and it is a, well, fully accepted set. And it's a normal priced AR with a special sight. That is definitely something that is very cool. It's definitely a very good price for that for sure but that is going to do it everyone sound off down in the comment section below which ones you're thinking of picking up and why did you pick up the new retro tc skin is that something that was in your budget this week was it something that excited you sound off down in the comment section below and let me know as always thanks for watching everyone stay rusty and have a great wipe